Texas versus California, which is better for living. Non-Americans see Texas and California as the two most popular states in the U.S. The reason isn't far-fetched. The two states are very large in terms of population and size. Both states cover hundreds of thousands of square meters. As populous as the states are, 20% of those living in the U.S. are in either Texas or California. Now, which of them is better for living? The influence of the two states on the American culture and history may make it a bit challenging to know which one is better for living between Texas and California. For instance, Neil Young, the American space explorer, attended schools in both states. Both Texans and Californians love their states and could do anything to defend their states. Interestingly, Texans believe their home is superior to Californians while it's the other way around for Californians. We, the spectators, are now left to judge. Who takes the day in the competition Texas versus California, which is better for living? Let's see what decides the winner, the Golden State versus the Lone Star State. It's going to be round by round in this video so that we can arrive at an objective conclusion about which one is to be considered the better state to live in, Texas or California. Round 1. The Cost of Living The first round will be slugged out over the cost of living because it's the most significant difference between the two states. While California has a minimum wage of $14.99 an hour, it's a measly dime of $7.25 in Texas. However, living costs are significantly higher in the Golden State. It is 54% higher in California than in Texas. So, in this first round, the winner is Texas. It's better for living. Round 2. The Weather When it comes to weather, give it to California. A major complaint on the lips of most Texans is that Texas weather sucks. On sunny days, California can have warm temperatures, yet those days are nothing when compared with a sweltering Texas summer which begins early in the year with an average temperature of over 95 degrees. But in California, the average summer temperature is around 80 degrees. Here is an interesting fact about Texas weather. In August 1936, the temperature reached 120 degrees. Yes, you heard right, 120 degrees Celsius. Can you imagine? Between the exit of summer and the arrival of harsh winter in Texas, there are only a few comfortable months. The winter temperatures there don't get as low as they can be in certain areas of California, but the cold is nothing to sneeze at. Texas is not built for below freezing temperatures as there are no snow plows. The state's energy grid is unreliable, thus winter usually brings along great inconveniences for Texans. On this ground of weather, California records a landslide win, so California carries the day. Round 3. Raising a Family when putting two states side by side, we must consider what it is like to raise a family in both states. There are substantial differences between California and Texas when it comes to childcare costs. California ranks as the 12th most expensive state to raise a child, while Texas ranks the 31st. In California, raising just one child costs around $13,000 a year, while you achieve the same in the loan state with just about $9,000. That means parents in Texas save more than parents in California, so Texas is the cheaper place to raise your children. For round 3, the winner is Texas. Round 4. Buying a Home Both states have a lot of gorgeous homes, however, owning and renting one is a differentiating factor. It's much cheaper in Texas to buy a home. The median house price in California is about $800,000, while it is $280,000 in Texas. That's a huge difference. So when it comes to buying a home, California loses, and the winner of round 4 is Texas. Round 5. Health The general impression is that Californians seem healthier than most of the other Americans. California was once ranked as the healthiest state in the U.S. California is also one of the most vegetarian states. In San Francisco, a vegetarian menu is more likely to be ordered off by 174%. 
Thus, only 25% of residents of this state are obese. On the other hand, almost 36% of Texans are obese. In fact, the fattest city in the U.S. is McAllen, Texas. Meanwhile, the number one cause of death in Texas is heart disease, killing a whole 45,000 in 2017 alone. No thanks to weighing issues. Needless to say, Texas has a little bit of a health problem. In this round 5 slugged out on the ground of health, California. Round 6. Food There are exotic cuisines in both California and Texas. While California is rich in fresh ingredients and bright modern dishes, Texas has plenty of comfort food, especially barbecue. The barbecue in Texas has no match anywhere else in the U.S. A recipe separating the two states significantly is the taco. Californian tacos come with bright, fresh vegetables and modern interpretations, while Texan tacos are simply meat and tortillas. Texans love their tacos such that there is one taco restaurant for every 2,191 people. California trails with one taco restaurant for 2,473 people. Now, let's shift attention to fast foods. I guess you expected us to touch on this one. You knew it was coming because you're familiar with the Whataburger versus in and out debate that's been on since the establishment of both. The supremacy battle between the two, pitting Texas against California, continues. It doesn't belong to anyone to tell you which cooks better fast food. Your tongue and palate should be your most reliable panel of judges on this matter. What we can tell you for free is that there are over 1,000 Whataburgers throughout the U.S., while the In-N-Out has a little over 300. When considering facts just stated regarding food in both states, there is no clear winner. So in round 6, it's a tie. Round 7. Education A state to be considered better for a living should make a good and qualitative education available for either you as a parent or your children of school age. The education system of such a state should be suitable. California and Texas are neck and neck for high school graduation rates, both around 83% even though Texas is on the higher end. However, California ranks higher in SAT scores. The percent of Californians with a bachelor's or higher degree is higher. On the other hand, Texas has been rated among the most undereducated states in the U.S. This is a result of poor financing, questionable testing standards, and a fast-growing non-English-speaking population. Yes, Texas is technically more educated than California. The advantage has been dwarfed by certain issues with the educational system. Nevertheless, California wins Round 7, which is based on education. Round 8. Natural Disasters The worst part about living in California is the natural disasters. There are wildfires, floods, earthquakes, landslides, and severe droughts, among others. Fortunately, Texas doesn't have it so bad. While coastal storms and floods are not uncommon in Texas, earthquakes, landslides, wildfires, and droughts are. However, the location of Texas in the middle of Tornado Alley makes it vulnerable. Thus, Texans have to look out for twisters from April to June. With such a variety of natural disasters, California blows Texas out of the water, and the eighth round goes to Texas. Round 9. Sports Both Texas and California are home to teams that win in famous championships. The Lakers, the Cowboys, the Dodgers are huge names in the world of sports, and these teams are in these two states. Texas beats California when it comes to football as it produces more NFL players per capita. However, California washes Texas on World Series titles and basketball championships. Then California is more athletic. However, it doesn't have it so great with football. Round 9 still goes to California. Round 10. State Pride One thing is for sure, patriotism runs in the veins of both Californians and Texans. But who are those that love their state more? There appears to be no clear way to measure state pride. Yet a recent Gallup poll gave a clue. According to the poll, 28% of Texans think that Texas is the greatest state in the world, while only 13% of Californians feel so about their state. 
This intense pride explains the reason why you'll see the map of Texas everywhere on t-shirts, road signs, billboards, jewelry, and even food. So round 10, which is based on state pride, is won by Texas. Now, we've compared the two states via V everything that makes a state a great place to live in, such as the weather, cost of living, child care costs, housing costs, health, food, education, sports, and state pride. It's now your turn to declare a winner after you might have added up the results of the 10-round row. Texas versus California. California won four rounds. Texas won five rounds. And the winner is Texas. Nevertheless, if you're not yet convinced that Texas is the better choice, we have one fact that might shock you. Did you know that even Californians think that Texas is better? They're deserting their state at an exponential rate and moving to Texas in search of more affordable houses and to avoid high income taxes, expensive living costs, overpopulation, terrible traffic, and rising crime. This migration is almost in one direction. A mere 1% of California's population is originally from Texas. On the opposite side of the spectrum, 3% of Texans are originally from California. Now tell us, why won't we consider Texas to be the better state for living? Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell.